what brings you all the way here to North Cape? Solar eclipse. I'm from Norwalk, Connecticut. I'm from Calgary, Alberta. From a small town called Bradford, Tennessee. From Prince Rupert, BC. From uh, Halifax. From Baltimore, Maryland, USA. I'm from France. <laughs> <laughs> but I live in Montreal. And I'm from Prince Edward Island. And how long have you been planning to go somewhere to try to catch the totality? Well, since the last time I saw an eclipse back in 2017. We saw that it was going right over Prince Edward Island and most of Prince Edward Island was in the path of totality. So we thought, well, we might as well stay at Prince Edward Island because we've, one, also always wanted to go to Prince Edward Island, and two, why not experience it in a new place and just have this whole thing? The hospitality here is great, and everybody was super friendly, and... There's a lighthouse here, and I happen to be a lighthouse keeper on the West Coast, and I thought I wouldn't mind having a little quick peek at this one. Well, we did our research, and this seemed to be the uh, best location. And this is your second? Yeah. Where did you see the first? Uh, Oregon. I was in uh, 1972. And how did it deliver today? Best I've seen. I don't think it gets any better. You could look out and you could see the shadow coming. It was amazing. The most moving eclipse uh, I have ever seen. So it was like the sun and then it was like the moon in the middle and then it was like black and then like the solar stripes things. And it was really cool. Well, there's this real visceral reaction you get when, you know, the sun and the sky and everything just goes dark in the middle of the day and all the bugs and animals are confused and it's something that you've never experienced before. And it's really hard to explain. It's more of a feeling type thing. Just completely black moon and you can see the sun's corona just flashing out all around it and you can see a sunset all the way around. It was once in a lifetime. I have my mom and my cousin here and my girlfriend. My mom's a breast cancer survivor. So I was just so excited to have this bucket list event with her and to be together and to see this really amazing thing. We also took pictures. It was long, we had three minutes. So <laughs> we had time to hug, to take pictures, to cry. So we really enjoyed it all. I don't know, a picture doesn't uh, give it justice. So make plans for Spain and we'll see the next one. If you can afford it, don't miss them. Go anywhere.